Hi there! This tutorial will be going over how to tie a harp string and this is for my students that uh, maybe don't remember how to tie a harp string, maybe it's been a while since our first lesson and you don't remember what we covered, or maybe you're just a visual learner like myself and you prefer a step-by-step -step guide rather than reading text in a book and trying to make heads or tails of it and comprehend it. So, either way, let's get started. I would like to point out that I am hunched over the, uh, the keyboard so that the motions that I'm doing is exactly what you'll be doing so you don't have to worry about uh, flipping any mirror images. This is my right hand, this is my left hand. Uh, so let's get started. When you tie a harp string, all that you were doing is making a bunch of bunny ears, kind of like tying your shoelaces on your shoe. So to begin, we keep the long end of the string in our right hand and the short end in our left. And you simply make a first knot, a uh, first loop rather, in your left hand. And notice that the long end is behind the short end. And then we make a second loop with our right hand, and this time the long end is on top of everything else. Now at this point you want to make sure that you turn the right hand loop to the left and then put it over your left hand loop and pull like so. And there is your knot. Now depending on what string you're replacing, you can either continue or stop. If you are replacing a string above fourth octave C, you must use a string anchor so that the string knot does not get pulled through the sounding board and stuck into the hole. Uh, so at that point in time, you use a string anchor. And let's pretend that this is a string anchor. Hmm, big pencil. And you take the string anchor and insert it like so, and then tighten. That is all that you do. If you're using a string anchor, I highly recommend doing a second security loop just for um, just for safety's sake. And you do that by making a second loop in your right hand and putting it over the first loop and then taking that and putting it on the underside of the string anchor. And then... tightening everything up like so, and that's all there is to it. Your string will not be as bulky, of course, because you're not using yarn and a pencil, but you get the general idea. If you are making a string knot below the fourth octave C, you don't have to worry about using a string anchor, as the string is thick enough and the material uh, is thick enough that you don't have to worry about the hole getting yanked through the sounding board. And that's all there is to tying a harp string. 